My name is Peter Santanello, and I make videos around the world. But for the first time, I'm showing my home country, America. In this video series, my Ukrainian wife and I travel through Northern California to places most foreigners and even Americans don't know about. We will show you USA culture through the combination of an outsider's and a local's perspective. Join us on a road trip through a very diverse, often misunderstood, and stunningly beautiful land. It's really cool when you come back to your country after being gone for a long time. Cool supermarket, huh? Day two, we're out to pound some more pavement, see some different neighborhoods, show you guys a lot of the contrast here. That's what makes the city so cool in my mind. Like it's just all over the place, super mixed. Now we're in the Castro district, which is the gay district of San Francisco. And Natalia, check it out. This is what you want to see. Rainbow flagged crosswalks. Let's go this way here. What do you want to see? I don't know, just something interesting, I guess. <laughs> Define interesting. Define interesting. What's interesting? Something that I don't see in Ukraine. You don't see that in Ukraine? Right. <laughs> Not that either. <laughs> don't see that in Ukraine. <laughs> Friendly fire. Oh, this nutsack hanging out. There's a lot of that. Dude. Friendly fire. That's what we're calling it now. Gay men aren't good for single women, huh, Natalia? Yeah. <laughs> they take men off the markets. <laughs> good men, actually. Good men. Well dressed yeah. men. Yeah. Handsome. They're, usually, they're usually well dressed. Better educated. Handsome. Humorous. Yeah. Kind. Gentlemen. But nobody's here right now, so this is somewhat of a failed mission. Guys, but at least you can see it. Nowhere to come. Love these old style trolley cars. Art Deco-ish, streamlined, modern style. Very cool. Do you like one of these cookies? Let's go. Bye bye. Lauren Burgess in such a hot cookie place. It's a homosexual cookie experience. Well, guys, Castro is quite dead midday Monday. So. Come here on a weekend or maybe in the afternoon. Coming up here on Alamo Square Park, an iconic park in the city. Very beautiful Victorian homes surrounding it, sweeping vistas of the downtown. And the painted ladies, these, these are famous Americans know, most Americans know of these. They're from that show, Full House. Built by the Gold Rush, built by the places we went to days ago up in the Sierra Foothills. That money built these beautiful homes and then Tech Money's building. What's downtown right now? That's the Salesforce Tower that just went up in the last couple of years. Now the tallest building. Is it portrait? No. What is it? Video. Give it, dance it, own it, move it, shake it. Bake it, <laughs> take it. This street is called Van Ness, and it's a very wide street for this part of the city. And the reason being, 1906, San Francisco was hit by a massive earthquake. And right after that, the fires came. So, the city actually removed, like knocked down a bunch of these old Victorian homes that were lining the street to build a wide enough boulevard that the fire couldn't jump. And this was one of the ways it was prevented from taking the whole city. 
80% of the city was destroyed in 1906. Here we go. Biggest Chinatown in the world outside of China. And what do we got going on here? This is the first China experience for me in general. Oh really? I've never been to China. A little less aggressive, I would say. Style of play is a little more peaceful. No slamming, no yelling. <laughs> How different is this vibe than Castro? Yeah, totally. Like think of the neighborhoods now, right? We had Castro was the last one. Yeah. Before that was hate, more of that hippie vibe. Before that was my old neighborhood, Clement. Yeah. Asian vibe, but different. And it then was more mellow. More mellow. Yeah. This place it's is pretty mellow. intense. Wow. This is nice. Yeah. And then... Wow. For someone who's never been to China? This is a good gateway to China experience. Remember Sea Cliff, right? Those rich homes. Yeah. And then you had that beautiful nature, Land's End. Yeah. And guys, that's just like... We're just touching the surface, let's say. Like, this is a two-day walking tour. And it could be two weeks. See if this lady knows English. I'm interested. If she actually has English. Excuse me. What is this here? What is this here? Bok choy. Yeah. Okay, that proves my point. <laughs> that a lot of people don't speak English in this neighborhood. She doesn't need to. She doesn't deal with big bald white dudes like me asking for what something is. She's dealing with Chinese. So, very interesting because just around a corner, like in these neighborhoods, you just go around a corner, cross a street, and it's a completely different world. Different ethnicity, different vibe. Maybe a different climate. On the edge of Chinatown, this is what I love about this place, is you take a turn, and now we're in Little Italy. Yeah. Little Italy, yeah. and it totally changes. Like, the language, the signs, the look of everything. It went from medicinal herbs, chicken in windows, fish, to this. And the population changed, right? The people here? Yeah, a lot of it. Instantly, like, oh, wow, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Yeah. But it's interesting that the crowd is so international here and everybody gets along with each other. Like, there is no conflict between these groups. Like, one district is China, another one is Italy. Super different, right? But right. there is no problems with that. Yeah. And I think it's really cool. And still, as you said, like, there are all these people from the world here. Right. And this is against the uh, normal human rules, right? You want to uh, be in our own tribes. You want, like, to unite with our own right. nations. And you sort of see it here in this district when they just create the piece of their own land. 
Right. Like they just don't leave like all scattered and I'm sure there are a lot of people scattered here, but still they have this like little district. It's just interesting to see how it works. Like it's like its own little world, you know, where everybody right. like, established in their own countries. It's and that woman that woman that couldn't speak English to me, <laughs> yeah. I bet she never ever comes here and it's two blocks away, right? But like why? never. Right? Has the whole life family there. You go in your comfort zone and you speak your language and you never learned English and why would you go to a place where it's more uncomfortable right. I think. The big difference between Europe and America is, well it's lunch hour right now, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's Monday. This does come alive on the weekends, it comes alive at certain times, but Europe is more about take that long break, take that long lunch break. And America is more about got a lot of work to do, got to realize something, and there's limited time, so you're not going to sit down for three hours or two hours for lunch. I'm oversimplifying and overgeneralizing, I know. But in general, the US is way more about work, and Europe is more about lifestyle i would say yeah in the centers of cities right <laughs> sometimes people think because it's america that everything's modern and new and that's not the case at all that's a united states postal service Mailbag. I mean, that thing. That's straight out of the 50s. That's retro. Look at it. Looks like it works, but that's the difference between public and private. Like, the private stuff is usually super progressive. Look at all the social media networks Uber, Lyft. And then when you go into the public space, like the US Postal Service, and, um, Let's just say the parking meters and how things are taken care of at a city level. It's usually like light years behind. Grace Cathedral up here at Knob Hill. Knob Hill is one of the finer neighborhoods. Well, as far as beautiful architecture and wealth. It's a nice place. Great views from up here. Like, do all these districts and little towns, do they have the power to establish their own religious, um, like, sites? Like churches? Yeah. Can they build them? Yeah. Cool. What do you think of all the dogs in this city? So many of them. <laughs> so cute. And everybody just like so happy walking with these dogs. You can smile to their dogs. They will be joking about them. It's so cool. I think you can make a lot of friends if you have some pets, especially dogs. It's very clean. Everybody cleans up after their pets. It's very good. Natalia found a new love in the U.S. and it comes in the form of love. You ready? Yeah. Oh my God! Oh, peanut butter, chocolate chip. Sh peanut butter, chocolate chip bobas. There are many varieties. <laughs> We're going down here, maybe four or five blocks. So, what do you think's down there? You've seen a lot today. You've seen the gay neighborhood. You saw Chinese neighborhood, Italian neighborhood, rich neighborhood. What are we going to? What are we getting into, Natalia? I have no idea. <laughs> Should be interesting. What's this neighborhood? This neighborhood is, well, we're coming up on the Tenderloin neighborhood. Do you like it? Yes, it's very beautiful. It's beautiful, okay. More stories here. More stores? More stories. Stories. 
floors. Oh, the buildings are higher, yeah. Well, you'll notice another difference coming up here soon. It's a little bit of an eclectic neighborhood, let's call it. And don't look at people. Don't look at people in the streets. Why? Um, well, if someone's homeless or screaming or doing weird shit, you don't want to give them attention. So you notice a difference? Oh my God, it smells. What smells? Like this. See the tents? So the situation with all these tents on the street, is it even legal to put it on the internet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's legal. What's Here's what's interesting about California is you need to pay to camp in the woods in many places, but to camp on the streets in the cities is free. It's a complicated problem. There are a lot of homeless people here. I think there are, shit, I forget, it's like 10,000 or 30,000 homeless people in San Francisco. What are you guys cooking up here? Pork, this is all chicken, those are jalapeno chicken, and that's bratwurst. Hell yeah. yeah. Proper feast. Yeah, could have been more, but somebody stole my other meat. Shit. Fun time, right? Sorry about that. It smells good. Hopefully they needed it more than I did. Probably. Take care. Baby, have you ever experienced anything like this? Marijuana smell? Okay, we'll poke out of this soon. Ooh, let's go here. Yeah, we're popping out of this soon, don't worry. I only did a little section of it for you. The crazy part about this is we're downtown. This is one area of like, I don't know, one small area. And then we're gonna pop out here to the tech companies. There's WeWork, Twitter's not far away. Like, talk about contrast, right? Contrast, yeah. just surprisingly, I thought that it would be people somehow injured, you know, like disabled. Or That's what I'm used to seeing in Ukraine because those people are really right. treated poorly by the country, I don't know. And it's a super complex issue. I don't know like, what can fix it, but right. here are all these people that have legs and arms, you know? So is it really difficult to get a job here? What's the problem? I just, yeah. Look, a lot of people don't have skills. They don't have support systems. They have drug addictions. addictions rent is insane right. these aren't excuses but there's a lot of this right but is there so, a way just to get out of san francisco and start somewhere well i think it's the best here i think you're look you're in a community right in a way you're in a community there i would think we should talk to someone that would be better but this is market street okay no no you know when i say the metro in kiev is great it's clean yeah. it's nice it's because i'm comparing it with this you know you go down there, it's gonna smell like piss and it's gonna be dirty. So US is not the place for metros or subways. I mean, this is a bad example, this station especially. But. Hello, Brooklyn, lined up like 300 of them in a row. And he goes so imagine you're, you're a tourist. You've like heard, me? Like you. <laughs> 
but terrible you don't... misdirection. But you like, don't... I want to go to the center. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> but you don't have someone like me that knows what street to turn on. Yeah. And you end up in that, right? Yeah, Because it's, it's literally one block away from this. Yeah. Great, great. It's crazy. This is the center, Union Square. A big tourist place. But it's nice to hang out here. It's actually a nice location. They used to put a skating rink up here in the winter. I think they still do. It was two or three years ago, marijuana became legal in California, so you could legally buy it at dispensaries. It's crazy. Walking. Can't bring the camera in there. I'm all good, bro. Thanks. Okay, cool. Perfect. Have a good day, man. Hey, where's the closest dispensary to here? Uh, weed dispensary? Uh, yeah. The, uh, the Green Door. Green Door? Uh, Burlington Coke Factory. So if you would just take this as Powell Street right here. Yeah. If you make a left, go all the way down to Powell and Market. Do you just walk in with an ID, get whatever you want? Yeah, walk in with an ID. You don't have to have your cannabis card. It's like buying alcohol. Exactly. Yes. I'm in favor, you guys. Just stand right over here, you guys, okay? Okay. So that's the story. You just buy, you just walk in. You don't need a cannabis card. It's like buying alcohol. There's 68 of these. Popos, privately owned, public open spaces. It's sort of a secret in San Francisco. What that is is, I don't know if it continues on today, but if you wanted to develop down here, if you're a big commercial real estate mm -hmm. guy and you wanted to develop, you had to create a public space on your property by law. So there's 68 of these. And even though we're not a resident of the hotel here, we can go in and access one of these popos. Yeah, it's super cool, guys. Check this out. Yes, this is the one. This is the one. So you just walk into this nice, hello. hello. Just going to the popo. Popo, popos. So they all have different entrances in this one. It's obviously through a boutique hotel. And some of them are pretty hard to find. But it's a really cool aspect of this city that you just can canvas together all these cool public spaces that most people have no clue about. But they have to, even though this is, shit, what is it? I think it's three. Even though this is a privately owned hotel, they have to let anyone in through their facilities up their elevator to the popo. Interesting. Yeah. Can you put the tent over there? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. Uh, left. Left, I believe. Yeah, here it is. Here you are. This is one of the popos, and like I said, nobody really knows because it's empty. But it's cool, huh? You want to come up here and read or hang out? Love. So it connects into this building. And now we're in a shopping mall. It's cool. Popo. So right out from that popo is this popo. Uh, I learned one thing about these companies. Uh, Some beautiful Art Deco. I think I stayed out here with a company for 23 or 4 years. And so this is what I was told. Did you see this footprint here? You see how it grooves in? I don't know if the camera can tell, but there's a groove. And that's because there was an elevator man back in the day, and when people would walk in, he was pointing what elevator to go to. Huh. And so he's constantly doing this. And for you know, 60 years or something, it made the divot in the stone. 
Did you know that? Yeah. This is the Wells Fargo one though, right? Yeah, well, that's the, uh, it's next door, but they, I think they're gonna close down soon. And I don't know if we can shoot video in a bank. I'm gonna give it a try. Quite a beautiful building here. Look at all this detail. Okay, this is what's great about San Francisco. It's hard to get. Okay, you can get this in New York and a few other cities, but look, to get this detail in say basic institutions like a bank, right? It's sort of a European thing. Yeah. It's sort of a European thing, but San Francisco has a lot of, a lot of beautiful detail. I think the Popo's here. And we're in the bank, the Wells Fargo. I know there's a way up there. Damn, we missed it by 10 minutes. You're visiting? Yeah. Dude, can we just see it for, yeah. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. I've been telling her about these for like the last minutes, two okay. days. Be five minutes, okay? Yeah. Five minutes. Do you are you up there all day, bro? Me? Yeah, yeah. most of the time, yeah. Cause we got Beautiful we got area. yeah we got we just we got jerk offs to come up there and be doing shit they're not supposed to be doing. Yeah. Are there like bums that go up there? Oh, they're hit. They're shooting up. Yeah. Oh, oh, come on, man. you don't want to go up there with us. That was a long time ago, but yeah, yeah. The, they do that. They do that up there. And don't care. Yeah. They told us not here. They go and they take it out, put it on the floor, or don't care what it is, you know. Jesus. That was a long time ago. We were those problems. That's the problem here. Right. right. Secret entrance. Secret entrance. <laughs> oh yeah, I got you. Oh y'all cool. Y'all cool. I'll take y'all up. But <laughs> I'll be trying to. I'll try to look out for some jerk all to try to sneak up. That's all. And the, the, the guy that did it, his kids yeah. up here. That day. Oh man. You know, why would he do it his kids up here? He, he didn't care about he didn't care about nobody up here. That's crazy. Oh. Cool, huh? Yeah, beautiful. So totally open to the public. There's seven of them. This one of the main one in uh, Barcadero. So, which is the, you know, they sit there and take care of that. Damn, brother. Thank oh, you, nice Peter. Nice to meet you. Natalia. Nice uh, I was about to say, photographer model, right? Totally yeah, it's that. a photo shoot for Natalia again no, today. No, 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 Dude, no. I even gave her some shots in the Tenderloin, bro, just to make contrast. Right, 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 right. Like all over the city, from mm -hmm. the Ocean Beach all the way to here. That's, that's dope, man. That's yeah. totally dope. That's yeah. totally dope. Totally <laughs> dope. You guys come see me. I'll give you a, you got VIP, man. Your family. Come on. Come see me anytime. <laughs> you, I'll take care of you. Thank you, brother. You got, Thank you, you, brother. Photo shoot anything, come see me. Let's all right. Oh, yeah. I got you. Anytime, yeah. I got you. Cool. Thank you. Take care, brother. You too. Yeah. I'm gonna need I need that camera for you to do my camera. I'll do your music. album. What kind of music? Rap. I do hip hop. All that. Hip hop. Hibbity to hibbity hip hop. A hibbity don't rap stop it, baby. To the bone. To the. Son says, Daddy, I don't want to go to school because the teacher's a jerk. He must think I'm a fool. And all the kids go, I think it'd be cheaper if I just got a job and be a street sweeper. Dance to the beat. Shop my feet. Wear shirt. Buy one with the feet. Don't push me, cause I'm close. Hey, no, 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 Grandmaster Flash, bro. Grandmaster Flash. Dude, that guy used to work. He, he, he like started all the beats. Grandmaster Flash, various five. And to be honest with you, it was all types of life that learned from that type of music. Yeah, I think that just gave you a great feeling. It's all. Yeah. She was doing. You're happy. She's happy. That's my life. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Come on, guys. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Take care, Rana.
The end of the road, guys. That's the walking tour of San Francisco. The coast is usually pretty clear. Sand Dollar Beach, Big Sur. It's fresh, fresh. I think so. Little, it's called Little Something. 